Hi everyone, Eric at Retro Handheld Guides, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to install Ship of Arcanian 2 via Portmaster on the RG35XXH via Mu OS. So I got a lot of requests for this one after the initial release of the Ship of Arcanian 1 via Portmaster. Uh, so this one is the follow-up to uh, the original with uh, access to Majora's Mask. So similar to the original port, this one adds uh, some quality of life improvements to the uh, Majora's Mask, including uh, better saves uh, and fast text, etc. Uh, so this one is going to be very similar to the Ship of Arcanian one with a couple of uh, quick uh, fixes to help you get this running on your uh, device. So let's dive in and take a look at how to install Ship of Arcanian 2 on the RG35XXH via Portmaster in Mu OS. For today's video, I'm going to be using the latest version of MiOS, Refried Beans. So with Refried Beans, it does include Portmaster, and that is accessible through the Apps uh, folder. Once you go into your applications and load up Portmaster, similar to any other ports, you will want to go into the All Ports, and then scroll down until you find the S's for Ship of Arcanian 2. Uh, so I'm just using the uh, R1 button here until we find Ship of Arcanian 2 and then load it up, and then we click the install button, and that's basically it for the original Portmaster install. So that goes and grabs all the initial files that we're going to need, and then from there, we're going to need to generate our own Chip of Arcanian 2 uh, Majora's Mask files, and then place them onto the SD card. So let's uh, take a pop out the SD card and take a look at the next steps with uh, generating our files that we're going to need for Chip of Arcanian 2. So just like any other Portmaster installation, the first thing we want to do is go to the Portmaster Wiki to find out exactly what we need to do to install this game. So Portmaster Wiki is available at portmaster.games, and then from there you'll click on the games, and then see all the various games we have available. So I'm going to search for Ship of Harkinian, and we're looking for Ship of Harkinian 2. If we take a look at the Ship of Harkinian 2, uh, scroll down, we can see obviously it's a source port of Majora's Mask. And under the port details, what we need to do is we need to generate our own MMO2R file and then place that into the ports SOH2. So if we take a little further down, uh, we see that under the installation instructions, we must generate this file. And in order to do that, similar to Ship of Harkinian 1, we need to first download ship, uh, to ship to Harkinian, which is our Ship of Harkinian 2 files for our PC so that we can create this file here. So if we follow this link to ship to Harkinian, we get to the GitHub for the uh, ship of Harkinian 2 release. And as I'm on a Windows PC, what I'm going to do is I'm going to download the Windows version of to ship to Harkinian so that I can generate my MMO2R file. I've downloaded that file here and what we have is a zip file which can now be extracted onto our computer. So I'm going to open that file here, show more, and then I'm just using 7-zip to extract all of the files right here. So what that does is it then creates all of the Windows versions of Ship Harkinian 2 files that we're going to need. The other thing that we are going to need is also a Majora's Mask ROM file. So I've got my own ROM file here. The ones that are um, compatible with 2Ship2 Harkinian are also listed here back on our Portmaster details. So we can either use the N64 US version of uh, the Majora's Mask or we can use the GameCube US version of Majora's Mask for this. So in my case, I do have the US version of the Majora's Mask file. So in order to generate this file, similar to our Ship of Arcanian 1, we simply need to execute our 2ship exe. And the first thing it does is it tells us that there is no OTR or O2R file found. Do we want to generate one now? Yes, we do. So we can see that because I have my ROM already in the same folder, it has automatically detected it for me. If I did not, then I can go ahead and I can find my ROM. So I'm going to say, yes, I am going to use this file. And just like last time, it then goes through a process in which it compiles all of the uh, various uh, 
files that it's going to need in order to do this process. So this will take a couple minutes and we'll just let this go through and then uh, finish the uh, file compilation for us. And then from there, we're going to move it over onto our SD card. So now that the process is completed, you can see here that it is now opened up to ship inside of my Windows browser. Uh, just like last time, I'm not going to need this uh, because I'm not going to be playing it on my PC. I'm going to be playing it on my RG35XXH so I can close down this window and we can see here that what it's generated for us is the mm.o2r file, which is the one that we are going to need. So using this file, I can simply grab it and then I will open up my um, SD card for MuOS. Here we can see my MuOS uh, card is going to have a ports folder, which was generated when I downloaded my ship of Arcanian 2 files from Portmaster and go into SOH2. And as we can see here, we want to then drop our mm.o2r file into ports.soh2. So I'll go back into my ship of Arcanian. Here is the file that we generated. Simply copy and then go over to my Mu OS card, and on my Mu OS card, we can then simply paste that file here. So normally, this would be the only thing that you need to do uh, in order to get it to run. However, I'm sure that many of you have tried this before. When you try to do this process, it will uh, automatically crash right back to your menu if you do try to run it at this point. And that is because there is actually one library that is missing from the portmaster files that we're going to need. So the file that we're going to need is something that will be dropped into our libs folder under our muos ports soh2. So what we want to do is we want to drop a file in here and the file we need is actually called libfmt.so.9 and that is not available through Portmaster. However, it is available through our original um, Ship of Arcanian uh, files. So we can get that if we go uh, to download the original Ship of Arcanian files from Portmaster. So what I'd recommend you do at that point is if you don't already have Ship of Arcanian 1 installed through Portmaster on your device, you can easily grab the files that we're going to need from the Portmaster Wiki. So go into your Portmaster Wiki, back into our games, and at this point we are going to search for Ship, oops, ship of Arcanian, and we want the original Ship of Arcanian files and then simply go ahead and click on the download button here. Once you've downloaded the files, what we want to do is then go and grab this file, the ship of Arcanian file. I'm just gonna open it from here, but you can find this in your downloads folder. And under the original ship of Arcanian portmaster files, we will go into the SOH folder, the libs folder, and here is the file that we're going to need, libfmt.so.9. So I'm simply gonna copy this out of my original ship of Arcanian folder, and I'm going to go back into my libs folder for my ports. So here I am back on my MuOS SD card under ports, SOH2, libs. And here I am now going to drop that new file in here at the bottom. And that's it. This is all of the files that we're going to need to get the ship of Arcanian 2 files running on MuOS refried beans. Uh, for my RG35XXH. So at this point, I am going to safely eject this card and pop it back into my RG35XXH, and we will open up the file, or open up the port, uh, and get it running. And from there, I'm going to show you how to navigate the configuration menu within the uh, port for Ship of Arcanian 2. So I've inserted my SD card back into my RG35XXH, and from here, we can go into our Explorer, and then down into ports. And we can see that we now have Ship of Arcanian 2 installed on our device. So go ahead and open that. When it boots up for the first time, it's gonna go and take a couple of seconds, but now you can see we are running the Ship of Arcanian 2 port of uh, Majora's Mask on our device. 
At this point, we are going to want to do some configurations. Now, it does already come pre-configured, uh, but we need to access the configuration menu in order to get to all of the uh, different settings that we're going to want to do for the Ship of Arcanian 2. So this uh, feature actually works as well on the first Ship of Arcanian. In order to access the menu, what you want to do is click in your L3 button. From there, you can see that the menu is presented at the top. Now what we want to do is hold down the X button, which is our North button on our device, and then click the right bumper, so R1, to select Main Menu. Now what I want to do is press the X button again, and you can see that my cursor is now up at the top where I'm able to then go ahead and change my settings. So a couple of the settings you're probably going to want to change is if I go over to Settings, hit the down arrow, and go over to Graphics, here you can see you can change the resolution. We can also change the internal frame rate. So I'm just going to adjust this frame rate here up to 30 frames per second. So the original uh, Majora's Mask on the N64 did run at uh, 20 frames per second. So we will increase that here uh, as it is easily available to um, be adjusted at that point. So I click the B button to go back. And again, I can go back up to my settings and under enhancements, there are a number of enhancements that are already set for you. Um, one enhancement that I like to do, uh, I never played Majora's Mask on the original, um, but the um, save menu did only allow for you to save uh, temporarily at owls and you must find an owl in order to save. So one thing that I like to do is just come under our enhancement saving and I want to save at the pause menu. So it'll act just like the original um, Ocarina of Time in which you can simply exit out of the pause menu and then save at any point. So this is, you can see here, going to automatically create a persistent owl save at your current location. Uh, or if you don't have one, um, it will put you back at uh, South Clock Tower or at the beginning of your dungeon. So that's another one that you like to uh, save. You can enable auto saves with its own intervals. Uh, and there's lots of uh, great fixes in here and changes. So things like dialogue fast text is gonna be something that you want. We can enable the D-pad so it automatically uh, allows us to equip using the D-pad as well as the C buttons here. Uh, so go ahead and uh, uh, change any of those various settings that you need. Uh, once you're done, you can go ahead and click the B button. And then at that point, click the L3 button again. And here you are back in playing Majora's Mask with the Ship of Arcanian 2 uh, updates uh, that will fix the uh, settings for you. So I hope you liked my Ship of Arcanian 2 installation guide for Portmaster. Uh, as always, the best place to find any um, fixes or changes for any of these Portmaster um, ports is to go into the Portmaster Discord. Uh, I will leave a link for that in the description below. But I hope you enjoyed my installation guide for Ship of Arcanian 2 uh, for the RG35XXH, and I am using the latest version of MuOS Refried Beans. If you have any other ports you'd like to see some installation instructions for or any other guides that you're interested in seeing, feel free to leave those in the comments below. And as always, uh, thank you for watching.